Okay. The fifth p core PLO concept is centered around the presence of cumulative equity, or more simply, redraws, blockers, pairs, weak and backdoor draws. Now, in a game where coin flipping for stacks is the norm, a lot of your profit will come from being on the good end of the 55-45 matchups. But the difference between being 55 or 45% against a range are based on factors that you might miss if you don't look hard enough. We'll go into more detail about this in Lesson 3, but for now just realize that every time you have a minor piece of equity, you're not only adding cards that you win on, but you're also taking outs away from your opponent. For example, when we have a pair with a draw, we gain equity against sets by taking away a redraw out and we gain equity versus other draws with the pair's showdown value. Or, when we have a backdoor flush draw with aces, we guarantee a win when we make the flush, prevent our opponent from winning with that flush, and steal some of his two pair or straight outs. To give you a better visual of what this means, let's take a look at the example on the next slide. Okay, so to help you understand why cumulative equity is important, Let's compare 3 betting 10% of our stack with Ace Ace 8 3 Rainbow and Ace Ace Jack 10 Double Suited. Obviously, Ace Ace Jack 10 Double Suited is a much stronger hand than Ace Ace 8 3 Rainbow, and it probably won't surprise you that the recommendations in Quick Pro aren't to 3 bet a hand like Rainbow Aces, but for the sake of examples, let's assume that we actually did decide to 3 bet both hands in this case. Now, the difference between these two hands is a bit more subtle than the obvious fact that Ace Ace Jack 10 Double Suited flops big more often. Both hands flop sets with the same frequency, and Ace-Ace-Jack-10 double suited is better because of the additional 20% of the time it flops an overpair plus the nut flush draw, the 5% of the time it flops the nut straight or flush, and so on. All of this is easy enough to see, but the key is to notice the difference between the two hands on flops like 9-7-Deuce-Rainbow. And all things considered, 9-7-Deuce-Rainbow is a pretty good flop for dry aces, right? And truthfully, if we were able to get in 25% of our stack preflop, we'd be pretty stoked to get the rest of our money in on a flop like this. But with only 10% of stacks in preflop, getting it in with dry aces against a normal opponent is a losing play, because we're crushed by his range. But on the other hand, when we have the jack-10 gut shot and two backdoor flush draws, our overall equity is good enough to get it in, which gives us the chance to realize the piece of equity that we're forced to fold when we have dry aces only. To put it simply, dry aces, a gut shot, and the backdoor flush draws are each worth something, but individually, none is strong enough to play for stacks. But when we have all three, we get to realize each of those smaller individual pieces of equity. And in case you're wondering, the equity added by, by a backdoor flush draw in a standard hand versus hand matchup is between one and 3%, depending on what the actual players are holding, of course. Hey, what's going on guys? Casino Crime here. Now, if you like this video and you want more, then go ahead and click the subscribe button below right now. And if you want to join me for more of my six max success secrets and free video tutorials, just click the link to the right. See you inside the trainings. Good luck.